lies in our devil. <laughs> Look at him, the sleeping beauty. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he wouldn't seem a joke. I'd have had a shot mark killing. him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he might not, and he'd only nag for days. <laughs> so I couldn't get rid of him, though. Perfect opportunity. <laughs> no one would know. <laughs> Old man, we can't. Died in his sleep. And no one would miss it. I'd be free. I could get out. And the business would be mine. No one would know. Oh, hello, Dad. <laughs> I was just going to put this behind your head. Make you comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Have I been asleep? What time is it? Half past four. You're back early, aren't you? Have you unloaded the car? No, not yet. Oh, what are you hanging about for? Go on, get your finger out. Go on, go out and unload it. What are you standing about for? Why did I hesitate? <laughs> I was hoping you'd come out and give me a hand. I've got a great cart load out there. That's a change. Lot of old junk, I suppose. If ever you give me one word of encouragement, I shall drop down dead straight, I will. Come on, if you want me to help you, come on, let's get it over with. Oh, if I'll come in again and catch him asleep, I won't hang apart. <laughs> don't do it like that. I can do it like that myself. I don't need your help. If that's what you call unloading, you might as well go back inside and get to sleep. But the idea is to lift the thing off gently, so as not to break anything. Yeah, if you're only good for firewood, you would have had to break it up anyway. Look, I'll be the judge of what's going to be broken up or not. Just shift it gently. Yeah. There. These is all right, isn't they? Aye, I'll have these for my bedroom. Could do with something on the wall. Oh, you got a set. Chastity, virtue, motherhood. Aha. They're all right, aren't they? All right. <laughs> They're revolting. <laughs> big women. I like big women. Oh, God. You don't get women like this these days. Generous, that's what they are. Ample. Yeah, I don't like these skinny birds they have today. I like big, beefy birds. All oh, little ones. I don't mind little ones. It's the skinny ones I can't stand, like you go out with. I don't go out with skinny birds. They're a bit near to the bone, aren't they? Not like this, mate. Look, there's no salt cellars there. That's all <laughs> meat. <laughs> yeah, I love these in my room. Good night. Oi. What about the rest of it, then? I don't want any more of that. I don't care what you don't want. You're a right scavenger, aren't you? You're just like a skinny little old vulture flapping about, hovering about, <laughs> waiting to pick the cart clean. You drop those down, come and help me unload. Oh, God. Can't you do anything? All right, come on, hurry up. It's cold out here. <laughs> seen a pair of shoes like this since before the war. Put them back. Put them back. We ain't flogging these. A little bit of polish and a few nodes, I'm set up for life. I'm turning this in. I'm no longer a rag and bone one. I'm just a personal outfit of you. Everything I'll bring home goes on your feet, your legs, your head or up in your bedroom. Oh. You can either get the door to your room open as it is. Oh, let me have them. I like nice shoes. There's only eight pairs. You've got three tea chests up there full of shoes. You've got about 60 pairs up there. I like shoes. Oh. 
God, you've got three pairs of riding boots you never use. <laughs> you haven't knocked a bit of gear in years. You nick it all. You've got more bleeding clothes than George Sanders. <laughs> go on, let me keep them. Oh, go on, take it. Take it, I don't care about it. <laughs> Yeah, what's in this? You need them It's a damn small. What are, what's in them? Gramophone records. Oh, no, not more gramophone records. Yeah, more gramophone records. I'm hoping to build up a comprehensive library of classical music. Oh, good. I suppose we'll have you with your head in your hand for the next fortnight now. And you got enough of them classical bits already? No, I haven't. There's thousands of compositions I haven't even touched upon yet. Are they all classical? Are there no twist records in there? I sincerely hope not. Look, I've got these from a very select lady. Her husband happens to be a doctor. And doctors has very cultivated tastes in music. I should be very surprised if there's anything ropier than Rick Manning off in here, mate. <laughs> and if I'm very lucky, I might get sides one and two of Beethoven's fifth. I've been looking for that for ages. I'm fed up of starting halfway through the first movement. <laughs> you know, I haven't heard Beethoven's fifth right the way through since... September. And I was your fault. You ruined them. Damn four sides of Finlandia. Using them as table mats. Well, I was only trying to protect the table. Well, what about my symphony? Cool, right up they did. Great steaming teapot stuck right in the middle of it. <laughs> you can't replace them ever since. It's very difficult these days. And people's all under long players. When they ain't many 78s are burnt. And there's upwards of eight records in a symphony of 78s, you know. Now, come on. Let me sort it out. Then we'll have a recital, a musical soiree. You can sit down, put your feet up, relax, do your good. Instead of going down to Skinner's arms, you can stay in and listen to some good music for a change. Mind up! I don't mind listening to gramophone records. I wish you'd get something cheery for a change. All that stuff gives me the willies. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> oh, like they could do with a, a squib under the backside, some of them. You are a right twit. Oh, God, the horse has got more taste in music than you have. You want to see his ears go up when I whistles the ride of the Valkyrie. You want to see him move. If I was to give him a twist again, he'd probably give me a kick right between the shots. <laughs> I want to be Bobby's girl. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought you said she had good taste, this woman. Well, it must be one of her daughters. Oh, I'm a kid of today. I mean, what do they know about music? Their taste is really fundamentally bad. Oh, they ought to put me on that jukebox, Julia. You know? I'd show them a thing or two. I'd really show them. I mean, the, the blocks and birds that they get on there, what do they know about music? I, I mean, what qualifications have they got to pass an opinion about music? I mean, I wouldn't ask half them what time of day it was. I wish I could get on there. But you do for everything as far as I'm concerned. Put me record on. No, no, you're not playing up. On my electric gramophone, you ruined my stylus. Oh, what you got to give me a gramophone record if I can't play them? You buy your own gramophone. I wouldn't sally my turntable with that rubbish. Buy your own gramophone and play it when I'm out of the house. De Bruyne, Summers, and the Savoy of Fiends. <laughs> Roses of Picardy. <laughs> to Miner's Dream of O. <laughs> Jimmy Leach and his Organolians. <laughs> Harry Roy and his Ragtime Band. <laughs> How that <vet> Tiger. <laughs> Charlie Cunn. You've got some good ones there, haven't you? You keep quiet. All the good stuff must be at the bottom. For Teddy Bear's picnic. <laughs> Excerpts from the Chocolate Soldier. Oh, that's better. We're getting near. Oh, yeah. This is the key, huh? Oh, Savinsky. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, Stravinsky, that's marvellous. Sides one and two of the Firebird suit. 
Oh, Dad, Matt, <laughs> look what I've made for the old lot. Look, Dad, size one and two of the Firebird. Look, and it's hardly been played. Yeah, that's good. Let's leave it that way. <laughs> look, we all know you're ignorant. I mean, don't go on about it. Look, if you don't like it, sling your up. Bung your right ears up or something. I mean, don't spoil it for me, I ain't talking to you now, now. Now, you can talk if you want to. I don't mind you talking. I mean, shut up. <laughs> I'm going to play my record. I'm limit on myself, I'm not going for hours. Oh, no, I'm not standing here with me, I'm a pause waiting for you to finish, I've got me cobbling to do. You don't have to do your cobbling tonight, you're doing this on purpose. You can do it all day tomorrow while I'm out. I've got other things to do tomorrow, I always cobble at night. Will you stop it and back in? I've missed half of it now, I'll have to start again. Well, I don't like your music, but I don't say turn it off, do I? That is hardly the same thing, is it? I mean, the quality of your cobbling is no way affected by my music. Whereas, conversely, I find it rather difficult to follow the score with you knocking seven bells out of them boots with a five-pound hammer. <laughs> no, will you kindly keep quiet? No, I'm going to cobble it. You know what you are? You've got a twisted little mind. You're nothing yourself. You can't stand me being something, can you? Eh? You can't stand me trying to better myself or watch me enjoy myself. Well, I'm going to play all my music. I'm going to play it all night. I'm going to play all my operas, all my concertos, and all my symphonies. I'm going to go right through my collection, mate. And I hope it puts you off. I hope you smash your fingers with the hammer. And when you wear them, I hope the nails stick right up into your feet and poison you. <laughs> and that's why the loudest piece of music I've got, and I've got a tune to pull you right up. I'll drag you out, mate. Music don't only soothe the savage breath. It gives you a headache as well. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Wagner, mate. <laughs> a real eardrum splitter, this. Ready when you are. <laughs> It's locked. That's finished your musical evening, ain't it? Give it up, Keith! No! <laughs> Give it up, Keith! I'm gonna... Where are they? I sent them away. You great pillock! But the keys to everything, we knock up his on that! I mean, the house, the stables, the safe, the wreck... The safe. Where are they? I don't know. <laughs> Out in the arm somewhere.
Well, well, you? No, oh, they don't seem to be out here, do they? Of course they're out here. If you threw them in the yard, they must be out here. They can't have disappeared. Oh, what do I go and do a stupid thing like that for? I mean, look at it. How are we going to find them? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, you don't know. It was a rhetorical question. <laughs> oh, God, we can't find those keys. Oh, I mean, the keys of a safe are on there. All our money's locked up. And the horse is locked in the stables, he can't get out. <laughs> We're out fed him. What are we going to do? Plug the oats through the key hole one at a time. You should have fed him before you locked him up. Well, it wasn't my fault. I didn't know you were going to throw the keys away, did I? The gates is locked up. We can't get out. Oh, what a great get you are. That's what that means. Who else can I blame? Just a minute. I just remembered. We don't have a set of keys. But what the hell didn't you say so in the first place? Scrabbling on the yard and on his wall. Where are they? In the safe. <laughs> oh, look, we, 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 we've got to think about this. I mean, it's not just wandering around our passage. We, we've got to work this out scientifically. Now, how hard did you throw them? Well, I sort of went like this. Wait a minute, come on. <laughs> Stand by the door. Now, at what angle was you standing? <laughs> not this, I think. You're sure? Yes, I think so. Right. No, here are the keys. Have you found them? It's a stone. <laughs> it represents the key. Now, you come rushing out of the line, just like you did before, and throw this stone with the same velocity, at the same angle, in the same direction, the same elevation as what you threw the keys. If I can remember what they taught me about ballistics in the gunners during the war, I might be able to work out the estimated uh, velocity, range and angle. Right? Right. Give him where? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we better go out and look for it, hadn't we? I'm not looking for no stones. There's plenty of stones here. We can't find a key. Now let's start again. Let me see that frog then. Hold it there. <laughs> oh, yes. I think I can work out the general direction for the estimated trajectory. <laughs> <laughs> but all things being equal, I allow for a reasonable margin of error in the estimated trajectory. The keys should be somewhere in that lot. <laughs> C can you remember what sort of sound did they make when they landed? They made a sort of a, a, a jingling sound. Like a bunch of keys. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. You're a great help. Come on, let's just go with it. Well, remember all that, lot? Have you got any better suggestions? Yes, I have. Hold on a minute. What good is that? What good is that? It's a mind detector. Oh, no, it's a mind detector. I didn't think it was a vacuum cleaner. I'm just asking you, what good is it? It detects a metal object. It detects metal objects. Yeah. And when you come across anything metal, it makes a noise in the headphones, and the nearer you get to it, the louder it gets. We'll pinpoint them keys in no time. Just a minute. Could you tell me, in your opinion, what would you say that the majority of the stuff in this yard consisted of? <laughs> Metal. Metal. <laughs> You're not daft, are you? Go on, take them things off. And if you get any more bright ideas, shut up. Let me do the thinking. <laughs> but don't throw it over there. We've got to shift all that lot. Now look, there's only one methodical way of doing this. We take it all, piece by piece, we shake it, and we put it somewhere else. Look at this, right? It'll take all night. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't brought on those rotten gramophone records. Shall we come in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Will you concentrate on a job in hand? It'll be dark soon and we'll have had it. Oh, now, there's a possibility. They could have gone in there. Root around, see if you can find them. I'm not be out in there. Why not? There might be mice in there. Well, they won't eat you. Oh, no, no, I can't bear mice. So give me the willies. Oh, don't tell me you're frightened of little mice. A great grown man like you, what's got medals from the war? They're lovely little things. Haven't you ever seen them close up? They're beautiful. Great big floppy ears. <laughs> if you're so brave, put your hand in. You've got gloves on. No, I'm not putting my hand in there. You lost the keys, you put your hand in. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I couldn't, Harold. It, it, it's something about mice. I just couldn't do it. Oh, God, you're like a little old woman, you. I fancy being frightened. I've never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. <laughs> Mice. Now there's nothing in there. <laughs> Ratlet. There's <laughs> something in there. Might be a skeleton. <laughs> Hell off his horse. Couldn't get up. <laughs> <laughs> no, lift the lid and see there's a skull in there. There's something in there. I heard it rattle. Well, how can a bunch of keys get in there? I mean, the whole purpose of these things is to keep stuff out. Well, he could have got in there. Well, whatever it is, it won't be up there. It'll be down in his legs. Go on, take his legs off. It's a set of key. <laughs> Blimey, someone must have given him a wallet. Yeah, yeah great pudding. It's one of them pairs you brought back. Four thousand of them. That was a brilliant piece of iron on your part. Hey, what's this? That's one of your brilliant boys. Five gallon tins of army surplus paint. Khaki. Hey, this one without a lid on it. I look. The skin's been broken. That's been done recent. That's where they are, I bet you. That's where they are. They're in there. Well, put your hands in and cut them out. No, I don't put my hand in there. What's well, only paint? Well, you put your hand in. No, I've got better clothes on than you. <laughs> now, I suddenly remember I can't. I'm, I'm allergic to paint. Brings me out in a rash when I got paint on me. You said that about water. It's the lead. The <laughs> lead, <laughs> it started. <laughs> it was the gas in the 1419 wall started it. I remember we was on the song. All right, all right, mind that. You got him? I bet that there's something here. Have you found the key? No, I've not found the key. I have found that song that you chucked in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gold. <laughs> what have I put my hand in? <laughs> oh, Dad, bring that light over here. Oh, I just bring that light over here. Did you hear me? Where are you? Oh, God. Where's he got to him now? Dad. <laughs> How long have you been in here? <laughs> oh, hello, son. Uh, did you find them? How long have you been in here? Uh, uh, not long. I just came in for a drink to warm me up. You crafty old twit. I thought you were on the other side of that pile. Come on. <laughs> Ah, let's go to bed. It's after one o'clock in the morning. Look, I'm going to keep looking for those keys if it takes all night. Come on. You keep in my sight. You saw around that lot round there, and I'll rake the ground round there. Here, Harold, it's in there. It's a gramophone. Yeah, it works all right. Can I have it? No, you can't. You keep looking for them keys. But I, I mean... Uh, I, I don't want to hear any more about it.
about this gramophone? Oh, that, for God's sake, will you stop going on about that gramophone? Well, I want it, Baby Record. Well, you can't have it. I'm not having that sort of music in my All right. Now, gramophone. Now, keys. Give me them keys. Now. I want that gramophone. If you don't give it to me, I'm dropping these keys down the drain hole. Give us those keys. Now, don't you come here. One step forward and I'll drop them. Look, there. <laughs> Let's go inside and talk it over, eh? No. Let's go and have a drink. No. I want that gramophone. Oh, these keys are going down the drain hole. All right, then. Blackmailer. But you're only going to play it when I'm out of the arse. Play it when I like. No. All right, then. All right, then. Promise. <laughs> yes, I promise. Cross your heart. And I hope to die in a cellar full of rats. Oh, God. <laughs> He's like a little child, this man. Yeah. If it makes you happy. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky I threw away donkeys, wasn't it? Wouldn't have found this gramophone, would we? <laughs> Oh, Struth. I think I'll chuck on a bit of Tchaikovsky. I always find him most relaxing. Almost soporific, you might say. Turn it off! No, you better get out of here! Right! <laughs> 